Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. So for today's vlog, I thought I'd share with you guys some new in bits I got in the mail whilst I was away. I also wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite things from this month. I used to be obsessed with watching favorite videos, um, like monthly favorites, but I don't think they're as popular anymore. So I'm gonna try and share my favorite bits within like vlogs and stuff throughout the year, um, each month, so you kind of know what I've been loving, and it doesn't really have a theme, kind of anything and everything I'm loving from brands, foods, skincare, and beauty products, anything really. So let's start with the favorite things, because I'm so excited to share with you guys this skincare product. So I am obsessed with the Shantakai Vital Essence, I think it's like a serum slash moisturizer. I, this one is obviously empty, which is why I bought a new one. I am obsessed with this product. This is a, basically an anti-aging face and eye serum infused with powerful moisturizing and antioxidant for plumper looking skin. Um, I really notice when this is not in my skincare routine, like it is pricey, but it is so worth it. And I really like that it's kind of a face and eye serum. I find it really easy to use and I'm not the best when it comes to eye serums. I really need to get onto that because I'm in my late twenties and I think that's when, well, ideally you start as early as you can. Um, so yeah, I am obsessed with this. Would definitely recommend trying this if you have normal to dry skin. Um, even oily skin to be honest because it's quite a lightweight serum slash moisturizer. And on the box it does say use day and or night alone or under moisturizer. So I normally use this under my moisturizer and you know chuck on sunscreen after because sunscreen is life. But yeah, Shantakai, they have such incredible skincare products, but this is hands down my favorite. I'm really excited to share like monthly favorites, especially when it comes to clothing and bags, because I think it's a nice way to kind of show people the bags that you use multiple times, because I think from social media, whether that be Instagram or YouTube, you don't see how many times people use the bags that they unboxed or bought. Um, because I know personally in my day-to-day -day life, I use a lot of my bags. Like I love rotating my bags. Um, but obviously in Instagram, it might not look like that. Um, so the bag you might have not seen in a while on my Instagram, but I've been loving wearing this month. That is the ooh, Bottega padded cassette. Now this bag is such a hit or miss. Like some people absolutely hate it. My brother included, he just thinks it's ugly. Whereas I just think it's so chic. It's not very common, maybe because people don't like it that much, but I absolutely love this. Um, it has a crossbody strap, but I've just worn it like a, what's it called? A clutch today um, when I was styling some outfits. But usually I do wear it with the crossbody strap, which is adjustable here. You just obviously put it on like a belt and it also has this really cute typical Bottega buckle um so yeah I love this bag I think it's so chic I love it both in summer and winter but I've really worn it loads this summer in Australia but in winter it looks so nice over a coat I really like it in this color um I surprisingly find it really wearable despite it looking like it might not be so yeah definitely definitely if you've been thinking about it obviously i wouldn't say this is your um you know the first designer bag you you buy um if you have a decent collection and you're thinking of a cool bag that's also really user friendly to add to your collection i definitely recommend this let me know in the comments what you think about this bag i'm i'm also interested to know if you hate it because i mean that's the fun of fashion like not everyone loves everything and it's not that serious now the last thing i wanted to share with you guys in terms of favorites is the brand dion lee i am so obsessed it's like dangerous i also did another order already which is on its way so i'll show you guys what i have in this order if you've not heard of them definitely look them up i know they have them on like farfetch but dion lee is an australian brand so it's very readily available in australia obviously um but their pieces is just so wearable but cool and the colors are very I wouldn't say neutral because they have like, you know, the khakis and the purples and things like that, but very muted. Some of the pieces are not as wearable, depending what your style is, but I'm just so in love. Like, I 
cannot wait for my order to get here, the second order I did. When I'm trying brands, I always do a small order if I can't get into the store, um, just to suss out the material, the sizing, and then when I'm obsessed, I will do like a bigger order, which is probably not that great. So yeah, what I got is in this box. I got two tops from the brand, and honestly, both these tops are so stunning, like, and definitely so different in my collection. So the first top, is a knit spiral rib tee. So this is from their new collection. This has literally been released like a week ago, um, or not even. I think I saw it in store on Thursday and they have so many options and oh, I'll see if I can insert photos from their Instagram of some of their outfits and honestly, it's just a vibe. So the first top, I'm obsessed, is this beautiful bone ribbed crop top. And I personally really love the spiral detailing on the chest area. I'm not going to try them on in this vlog, but if you guys want me to, I'll include the pieces in my haul next, that I'm going to film next, and you can see them on there. Otherwise, follow me on TikTok, because again, it will be on there. Now, the next top I'm going to show you is what inspired the order, and unfortunately, I would have much preferred the top in a size small, but it's sold out everywhere. I don't think it's going to come back in stock, because it's a seasonal top. So I got it in the size medium, which is not that bad. It fits. I wouldn't complain about it. It's just a slightly loose on the chest area, which I'm surprised about, because the chest area looks tiny. But look at this top. This is also meant to sit like this on your chest area. How stunning is this top? And I didn't think it'd be that flattering on. It is so flattering. Well, I think it is anyway. So yeah, Dion Lee, that is my favorite brand of the month. I wanted to share that with you guys in case you're looking for a new brand to shop with. I love discovering new brands. So please comment below your favorite brand right now. Hey guys, it is now the next day. I think I finished off with showing you guys all my favorite things yesterday um which let me know what you think about them but today i still have some unboxing to do um and i thought you guys might be interested because i asked on instagram if you guys were interested in like home decor and interiors and things and literally majority of you said yes which i am so excited about because i love interiors um i got two things from the brand macmillan and co that i thought I will unbox with you guys. Let me see where I can put you. Okay, I think we're back. So I got a boucle bench seat um, that I wanted to put in my bedroom, but I think I might leave it in the dressing room for now. Um, and I also got a vase, which is in this box. So the brand I got the things from are from Macmillan and Co. I am obsessed with their stuff. I'll link their company down below. Um, I think it's Australian based, but I'm not gonna lie, I feel very lucky because in Australia, they have the most incredible interior companies. Um, I remember when I lived in England and I was trying to decorate my apartment, every company that I was obsessed with was based in Australia. So I'm so happy to finally be here and actually order from them. So these are all handmade ceramics and yeah, I got it in the Black Friday sale, um, which was very exciting. I know it's been a while, but I got this stuff, I think at the end of last year, but because I was traveling, I didn't get the chance to unbox everything. I just left it um, in storage and I thought I'll do that when I get back home, which is now. Let's open it. Oh, it's so beautiful. So this is the handmade ceramic piece that I picked from the brand. They have this, I think, in a black and maybe a terracotta color, which is also incredibly beautiful. Can't go wrong with um, white. And I want to put like, I don't know, either dried leaves or anything green. I feel like green and white will look really, really pretty together. And I just want to put this either on my vanity when I have one or somewhere in my... Um, wardrobe room it's just i don't know very simple very cute i love it so much it's very like modern and contemporary at the same time which is exactly the vibe that i love these days so yeah i love that okay let me let me unbox the big boy okay let's unbox this i have lost my scissors like for literally the 10th time i've put them back where they were meant to be so that's not my fault 
don't actually know how to lift this out of the box. So I think I need to cut <laughs> around the box. Okay, that took me so much longer than I thought it would. That was difficult, but I'm proud of myself. And, oh my God, it's way more beautiful than I even thought it would be. I will try to insert like the styling vibes I saw off the website. I'm like out of breath from <laughs> unboxing that. It is so hot today as well in Melbourne. Like I am, it's not glow, it's most likely sweat. Um, but yeah, I will insert the photos like of the styling if I figure out how. Um, and it's just the vibe I want to go for with this room. So I will show you the first piece that I'm adding to that or for that vibe. So here is the boucle bench. It looks incredible. I am actually so impressed. It gives me all the vibes I really want. And it looks like a really expensive type of boucle because sometimes I find boucle can look quite cheap. Um, but this looks absolutely incredible. Let me show you. This is what the material looks like. I am so in love with this bench. I can't get over it. I just showed my mum. And she's just like, good luck not getting your makeup on it. And she's not wrong. I don't know why I love buying like white furniture when realistically I get makeup on most things. Anyway, as promised, I will unbox a few things to show you guys. One parcel in particular I am so freaking excited about. Um, I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. But before I open that, I thought I'll introduce you to another new brand. I think I shared on Instagram that I've been discovering new brands since I moved back home because I love Australian designers. And one of them being the brand Hen or Henny. Is that how you pronounce it? This is... And the pieces are just such basic, neutral, beautiful quality pieces. I've worn this top out, but I thought I'd show you. So the first one is just this simple tank top. Um, I love the color. And what I love most about it is the neckline and the back. So the back is, well, I was gonna say crisscross, but it's just a deep V compared to normal tank tops. And this tank top looks beautiful underneath blazers because the arm detailing is a bit deeper in. So when you have your blazer on top and you see that detail, I don't know, it's just the little things. And I love that. So yeah, I ordered this in another color immediately. I think it was an orange color because orange is gonna be huge this summer slash next summer, I reckon. So yeah, this is the first piece. Um, as I said, again, I'm not gonna be trying these on because I literally unbox stuff and try them on on TikTok. So I'll link that below for you guys to go have a look there. Um, but yeah, that's the first piece. And the next one is a bralette. So I love bralettes. I think, I mean, bra bralettes are such a wardrobe staple anyway, but I think they're gonna be massive this year, um, both in winter and summer. I think people are gonna be wearing like bralette, shorts and oversized shirts on top. At least that's what I've been wearing. And again, when it gets a bit colder, people wear bralettes um, and like a matching suit set. I think that's just gonna be a vibe this year or at least that's my vibe. So when I saw these, I thought I had to get them because I think they're like cashmere. Let me see what material they are. Yeah, 90% wool and 10% cashmere and I got it in a size eight. That's there. This is what it looks like. Ooh, just like that. I've tried it on and it looks like a really deep V, but actually it's quite a conservative um, neckline. I don't feel like I'm too exposed when I wear this. And because I love it so much, I also got it in the black. This is just the black one. And it has a ribbed material and the back is a crisscross. Can you see? It's probably easier to see in the lighter color. The back is a crisscross like that. So yeah, I've been loving, loving those. I've just literally been like reaching for them loads to layer up, um, even though it's boiling in Australia right now, at least in Melbourne. Um, the last thing I picked up from them is a pair of cropped black trousers because again, black trousers are such wardrobe staples and I do have a favorite pair, but I just always, you know, you never know. And this one I've tried it on and I love it because it's cropped. So this is the waist band, which I like. I love when you have belt loops. I don't like it when trousers don't have belt loops, but yeah, it's like this and it has, um, what are they called? Not piping, but you know what I mean? 
and yeah it goes all the way down it's meant to be cropped but because i'm not the tallest person it just goes like on my ankle which is perfect for me so i am so happy with this length they have this in a beige and like camel color so before i end the video i thought i'd share with you guys one of the packages that i was so excited to receive um if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen months and months ago, I was invited to go to the Vashi jewellery store in Covered Garden. They have the most incredible store there. It's literally so, so beautiful. And the staff there and the service is just incredible. There's even a bar downstairs for you to have drinks while you kind of have a look around at the jewellery. And you can sit down with the designers or someone from the team um, who work there and kind of design your own pieces which makes it so incredibly unique and special especially when it comes to jewelry jewelry i find for me is such a personal thing because people wear it so differently um but yeah i can go on and on and on about jewelry so i was invited to the store i think i want to say in august it was definitely just before i moved away obviously and i sat down with one of the head designers and we kind of designed the piece that i have not seen in real life so i'm going to be unboxing that with you guys i will put on screen the kind of the stories that i took for my instagram stories if that makes sense here so you can see what i'm talking about cannot wait because i don't think i showed you guys then as well what I chose. I'm so grateful for the team um, to shipping it all the way to Australia. Obviously when I was there I didn't know when I was really moving so I thought I'd still be in England by the time this came but when they reached out I was like oh, I'm back home to Australia and they were like absolutely no worries Um, so yeah it's in this box that I'm going to unbox. They also do lots of like wedding and engagement jewellery if you're interested or looking for somewhere that you can get really beautiful quality um, personal jewellery for an occasion like that. I'm just quickly having a look on their website so I can tell you the actual name of the rings I have. Okay, so I went with the Love Strike collection from memory. These are what they look like. If you can see... So you can obviously pick the standard ones they have from the website or you can design them. I actually love that, especially with a ring like this where there's such intricate details, but you can make it just slightly different so that it's special to you. I was lucky enough to have three of the rings. Um, honestly, I feel so grateful for having had this opportunity, but they, I was able to design three rings that can be worn stacked up or individually. So let's unbox them together. I am so excited because I have not seen them. And the packaging is just stunning. So it comes in a black sleeve. It's like a really sturdy material. I'll definitely be keeping the box that it comes in and you just slide out the box like that. Oh my God, oh my gosh. Okay, I've taken off all my other rings because I wanna show you guys what these look like. And I'm honestly so obsessed. They look so elegant and they're so comfortable to wear. So I got three and they look like this. So they're all individually stacked. Let me, so this is the first one down here. You can obviously wear it individually. So that's that one, just a very simple dainty ring. And the next one, I'll just put it next to each other so you can see what I mean when I say the shapes are just slightly different. So if you look at these, the curves are not the same. I absolutely love it because obviously being a doctor, this this looks like um ECG readings. Is that really weird and like odd? But it just reminds me of like reading an ECG like with a heartbeat, which I think is so beautiful. So that's that. And the last one, I just went for a simple gold band with a diamond there. And you can wear them all individually or all together and you can lay them differently. So, so yeah, follow me on Instagram because I think I'll share it in more detail on Instagram. Um, but I am in absolute awe. These are so, so beautiful. I actually can't get over them. Anyway, I think that is everything. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed 
um, some of my favorites, some unboxing, and obviously the jewelry that I got to show you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about videos like this and what you think about sharing monthly favorites and if you're interested. But otherwise, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. Lots of love.